Queen Paisley shook hands with the then Taoiseach at Farmley. Queen Elizabeth laid a wreath at the Garden of Remembrance. But sensitivities about the Troubles remain. During a debate at the Stormont Assembly, Unionists supported a motion calling for the Irish government to apologise for the role of past administrations in creating the IRA. The DUP's Gregory Campbell had this to say. This motion talks about uh, the issue of the government of the Irish Republic at the commencement of what were our troubles and the part that that government played uh, in a very turbulent time in 1969 uh, and the part it played in creating what became the provisional IRA. What we are doing is saying to Mr Kenny, to the Irish Republic's government, you acted as a midwife at the birth of the Provo monster that we had to deal with for 30 years. It took 30 years to defeat and disarm that monster, but eventually that was accomplished. What we want now to try and bring closure to many people who suffered as a result of those 30 years is for you to acknowledge the events of your predecessor government and your predecessor Taoiseach and accept that there was a part that was played by the government in that emerging force and to apologise for it. We would then close the book and move on and hopefully we can then move on to more explicit apologies from those who carried out the activities and the atrocities in the first place. I beg to move. Gregory Campbell's DUP colleague Arlene Foster, Minister for Enterprise and the Stormont Executive, also spoke. I don't expect him, uh, I don't expect him at all to apologise uh, for the provost. We do ask uh, that they acknowledge both their acts of commission in relation to uh, collusion, uh, but also uh, their acts of omission in not seeking to secure the border of the Republic of Ireland. And the result of which was a calculated targeting uh, of only sons of Protestant families murdered by cards in the night, who then quite literally in some occasions ran across uh, the border. Some hidden shucks on their way to murder innocents and were detected by the forces of law and order before they could run to the Irish Republic for safety. And indeed, when the IRA came to murder my father, an only son uh, living on a farm, they escaped to the Republic of Ireland. Some of the atrocities of the Troubles referred to during the debate included the Kingsmill Massacre of 1976, when 11 Protestant workers were taken from a minibus and shot dead. Relatives of the victims recently met the Taoiseach. There were also references to the Smithwick Tribunal currently underway in Dublin. It's investigating allegations of Gartha collusion in the murder of two RUC officers near the border in 1989. Before the Stormont debate, I asked the Tónishta and Minister for Foreign Affairs, Eamon Gilmore, about the possibility of a government apology. Well, first of all, the Irish government is usually conscious of the hurt that has been felt uh, by the families of victims of what happened in Northern Ireland. And as recently as last week, uh, the Taoiseach met with the uh, relatives and indeed the one surviving uh, survivor of the Kings Mills uh, massacre. Um, so we're hugely conscious of the, the hurt and the sensitivity uh, that there is around these issues. I think that one of the things that we have to acknowledge here is that right throughout the period of the Troubles from the very beginning, uh, the Irish government uh, worked uh, to deal with the terrorism and the threat of terrorism. There was uh, legis special legislation that was introduced, special courts established. Uh, people who were involved in terrorist activities were arrested, uh, were put uh, in prison. And successive Irish governments worked down through the decades uh, to secure a settlement uh, in Northern Ireland, which eventually led to the uh, Good Friday Agreement. And uh, we continue to work uh, with the Northern Ireland Executive, with the First Minister, Deputy First Minister, and indeed uh, I'm in Belfast today to have a meeting with the recently appointed Secretary of State for Northern Ireland uh, to discuss the joint responsibility uh, that the two governments have uh, for uh, Northern Ireland and for the uh, agreement uh, and series of agreements that, uh, that we have. But there is a sensitivity. 
There is a suspicion that on occasions a blind eye was turned that people were living in the Republic who were able to cross the border, carry out murders and then return to the Republic. Will there be any acknowledgement of that sensitivity or is an apology by the Irish government for past failings totally out of the question? There is an acknowledgement uh, of the sensitivity uh, that uh, many people feel about what happened uh, over the decades. That is why uh, successive Irish governments worked uh, to bring about a settlement in, in Northern Ireland and that is why uh, our priority now is to build uh, on that settlement, uh, to move things forward, uh, to build the economy uh, in uh, Northern Ireland and, and throughout Ireland uh, and to build the institutions uh, that have been uh, established. And we will continue to do that. We will continue to talk with uh, those who suffered, uh, those who are still suffering and to be sensitive uh, to their feelings about what happened. Might that sensitivity uh, amount to, at some stage, an apology of sorts? Because you have a good working relationship with Peter Robinson, Northern Ireland's First Minister, there's no doubt about that. But when you see him asking the Irish government for some form of an apology, that's a strong statement from Peter Robinson, given what's happening on a day-to-day -day basis between these two jurisdictions. I think we have to be very clear uh, that the Irish government, uh, down the decades, uh, was very emphatic uh, in opposing terrorism uh, in all of its forms. Um, uh, we must remember uh, that uh, Gardaí, uh, members of the Irish Defence Forces, lost their lives in many cases uh, in the battle uh, to defeat terrorism uh, on this island. Uh, and we are certainly uh, very sensitive uh, to the feelings of people who suffered loss, uh, to uh, their continuing sense of uh, of loss uh, and that is something that we will continue uh, to discuss uh, with them uh, and of course we will continue to have uh, discussions with the First Minister and Deputy First Minister. The motion was carried because unionists managed to get greater numbers into the chamber but the significance of the debate was it indicated that unionists like Republicans are sensitive about some of the atrocities of the past. Tommy Gorman, RTE News, Stormont.